Hello, all you beautiful people out there. I hope you have had or are having a fantastic day. If you're new around here, welcome. My name is Sal, I'm the teenager who talks about teenage stuff because there simply isn't enough of it on the internet. If you guys are new around here, I'd appreciate it so much if you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel, it really shows your support, guys. I'm gonna estimate we're gonna continue this for a couple more videos just before I stop, but Sal Mabar on TikTok. If you guys do wanna see any behind the scenes shenanigans, stuff that goes on in my life, that you don't get to see on YouTube, please do follow me on there. I'll be posting a lot of fun stuff. If you're returning the viewer to the channel, you may or may not know that I'm actually based in Dubai. A student based in Dubai. You can see that video up there if you want to see what the bougie part of Dubai looks like. But for the most part, you guys just see the back of my bedroom. Being a student in Dubai isn't something that I really get to see talked a lot about on YouTube or on the internet as a whole. And there's actually a couple interesting things that you may not know about Dubai that's typical, that's atypical, sorry, to the rest of the world. Today I'm gonna break down some of the pros, some of the cons of being a student in Dubai. Also be letting you know about some of the interesting things about what it's like being a student in Dubai. Dubai is kind of a postcard city, you see many pictures of it, never really many pictures of students though. But trust me, we are here. Dubai isn't just some place where there are no students at all. It is, however, a little bit different to the rest of the world. All right, let's kick it off with one of the great things about being a student in Dubai. The education here is top class. There are so many different programs that schools in the UAE offer from the IB, something which we're a little bit all too familiar with. Then you've got IGCSEs, GCSEs, A-levels, you've got the Americans, you've got everything. You've got board exams, you've got everything to suit your needs, which makes it especially good for students who are transferring over to Dubai. You don't have to find a new curriculum. If you're transferring over to Dubai from another country that say did, for example, GCSEs, you will find many, many A-level schools here, many GCSE schools, IGCSE schools. There's always something for everyone's needs. Something that's a little bit different in Dubai though, as compared to the rest of the world, is that you'll see a lot of international schools. And this is due to the international and um, globalized nature of Dubai. It's kind of like a world hub almost you'll rarely ever see a school with just one nation. I was studying in Europe for a little bit and the school I did go to was all just like one nation where all the kids were from the same place. You don't really see as much of that in Dubai, but, but that's really just due to the nature of Dubai. It's not really your typical run of the mill kind of country. It's, it's very different. For example, the school that I go to, there are kids from almost 70 different countries there. It's quite wild, I know. The reason why I think this is such a good opportunity as well is because of these international systems like the IB, like A-levels, it opens up a lot of your doors in terms of further studies. And I'm talking about university. For example, a lot of these top universities, such as the Russell Group universities in the United Kingdom or maybe your Ivy Leagues in uh, the United States, they're gonna be looking for these international curriculums and it's a lot easier to actually get into these universities if you've got your point requirements. That's not to say that if you don't go to these schools with these fancy curriculums that you're not gonna get into university. That's absolutely not what I'm saying. It's just that it makes it a lot easier. Second thing I wanna to talk to you guys about today is that education comes with a price in Dubai. So it is not free, like in many areas of the world. For example, again, I'm gonna be talking to you a lot about the school that I went to in Europe. That was free. Dubai, no, not, not so much. A lot of the schools here are private, not public, so education is paid. It comes with a pretty hefty price tag. Now, I'm not gonna be revealing how much I pay for school, but from past experience, I do know that the prices range between 50,000 dirhams to anywhere close to 120 to 130,000 dirhams per year. I know this may come as a surprise to a lot of you out there, but that is the price, uh, that is the general price range of what it takes to be a student in Dubai. It's quite a large sum of money. It's definitely not the cheapest. Moving on, we've got number three on this list, which is universities. Now, although you may not really hear about universities in Dubai, there are a couple. American University of Sharjah, American University of Dubai, University of Wollongong. They all ring bells in my mind. It might not to you because they're known more, more so locally than internationally. But I, what I find with universities in Dubai is that a lot of students tend to travel abroad to the UK, to the United States. That's with every nation. Everyone wants to go to the UK, to the US, to Canada. Canada's been popping nowadays. What I will say though, is that I do know a couple kids who are on transfer programs. So they go to university here and then whenever they wanna transfer over to that same name university in, for example, the UK or the US, they can do so. So that's a pretty good perk of being a university student in Dubai. Okay, number four on this list is getting around Dubai as a student. Now, it might come as a surprise to you, but walking is not very common in Dubai. I'll put it that way. For a city with eight lane highways, seven lane highways, 
you're not going to be doing a lot of walking in Dubai. Your primary transport is probably going to be a car, be that a taxi, a Uber, or your personal vehicle. There are public transport options in Dubai though, for example, a metro. And if you are a student, you can get a written piece of documentation from your school provided to the RTA, and they'll actually give you a student metro card, which gives you a heavily, heavily discounted prices. Like it's ridiculous fares. Like I'm pretty sure it's like two or four dirhams, between two to four dirhams for a very long trip. So very economically efficient there. Taking an Uber, the taxi or Metro, although that might work in the short run, as students, we don't really have the biggest budgets and paying for a Metro, paying for a taxi, paying for Uber, those costs are gonna add up. That's why I find that a lot of students are relying on their parents to get them around, especially until they're 18 via a car or a driver, for example. That's also another thing. A lot of people here have drivers, something that's very crazy to think about. So I'm sure a lot of you out there, yeah, a lot of people have personal drivers here. So as a student transport in the UAE and Dubai, Definitely something to bear in mind. Now, number five, the topic I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for, social life in Dubai. Now, Dubai is known for its popping social life and there are a lot of things to do. There's an abundance of activities that you can do with your friends, hang out on weekends, hang out on Thursdays. It is fantastic. From malls to sports to desert safaris, whatever you fancy Dubai has gone to beaches, of course, a lot of people come here for the beach there's really no chance that you're going to run out of activities unless you're living here for 30 plus years, in which case they'll probably build something new. That is one thing I really like about being a student in Dubai. You can never run out of things to try out. And most of the time, these things don't even have to come at a high price. Although the things that you do see in the pictures, like for example, the indoor ski resort, renting out jet skis and all of that jazz, that does come for a little bit of a price but you can go to the skate park with your friends for like 30 dirhams for a day pass. You can go to the beach, which is completely free. There are a lot of fun things that you can do. But if you're a student and you've got a creative mindset, there are endless possibilities here, trust me. The final thing, the sixth thing that I want to talk to you guys about today is the people, man. There's so many different cultures to explore in Dubai, so many different people here as well. You'll get to meet so many incredible people here, interact with so many different cultures, and that is one of my favorite parts about living in Dubai. Especially if you're coming from a small town, coming to a big city like Dubai is no different than coming from a small town to another big city like, for example, London. There are a lot of people, a lot of diversity here, so it might be overwhelming at first, but trust me, you'll get used to it and the experiences you'll have will be incredible. In summary, guys, being a student in Dubai, it has its perks, it has its downfalls, like we discussed in today's video. It's ultimately up to you to decide whether this is the right place for you. As always, guys, if you do have any questions about today's video or about life in general, please leave them down in the comments below. I love reading all of them. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. It really helps support the channel. Have a fantastic week ahead of you. I hope you had a fantastic weekend, and I will see all of you guys later.